Kasabak Merit Syndrome that is also known as hemangioma with thrombocytopenia. So basically it is a life-threatening coagulopathy of infancy that is characterized by thrombocytopenia, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and consumptive coagulopathy. So it is a rare disease usually of infants in which a vascular tumor leads to decreased platelet count and sometimes other bleeding problems which can be life-threatening. And it is also known as hemangioma thrombocytopenia syndrome and this disease is named after two pediatricians who have described the disease in 1940. They are Haig Hagoni Kasebak and Catherine Crom Merritt. So their names come as Kasebak Merritt syndrome. So it occurs as a complication of a rapidly growing vascular tumor uh, that may be Kaposiform hemangioendothelioma and tufted angioma. And there is intravascular coagulation with platelet trapping that leads to thrombocytopenia that is decrease in the platelet count. And later on, the fibrogen con fibrinogen consumptions and degradations, similarly the consumption of the coagulation factors leads to DIC, that is disseminated intravascular coagulation. Now, what are the history and the presentation of Kasebak Merritt syndrome? So, it basically presents in the infancy period, as I have told you earlier, as an enlarging form purpurine cutaneous or soft tissue lesions, most common in the trunk, extremities or the retroperitoneal structures. And it may be associated with overlying hypertrichosis and hyperhidrosis. Hypertrichosis means excessive here. Hyperhidrosis means excessive swelling in that area. Sometimes the cutaneous lesions present as a rapidly enlarging lesions that later on turns into the painful, swollen and purpuric or echimotic. And retroperitoneal are often missed because they are behind the, retro, behind the peritoneum. And we cannot uh, diagnose it on physical examination and diagnose late on USG or CT scan. So this is the typical picture of uh, Kasebak Merit syndrome that we can get in the Wikipedia or Google. So we can see a very uh, cutaneous lesions that is painful, swollen, echimotic and purpuric. And on the diagnosis, uh, we can see there is a decrease on CBC. There is decrease in hemoglobin, decrease in platelet and on peripheral blood smear we can see bosses and cystiocytes and in we can also see a micro angiopathic hemolytic anemia similarly on the coagulus studies we can see there is prolonged prothrombin similarly prolonged aptt decreased fibrinogen increased d dimer so increased fibrillation degradation products and all are the findings of in uh, siva dic similarly the complications comes as reactive hemorthosis means there is a uh, collection of blood in the joints basically hemophilia like arthropathy so in the knee joints or elbow joints on a uh, trivial trauma uh, there occurs the collection of blood similarly we can see congestive cardiac failure and gi bleeding comes as a complications and this all is about Kasebak Merritt syndrome